Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today we're going to learn about seven types of people to completely avoid. Now, let's begin. Number one, the projector. This toxic personality can wreak havoc on your happiness and self esteem. Their judgmental personalities dish out criticisms left and right, dismantling your success as often as they can. If you look stunning in a new jacket, they're going to knock you down a peg. If you win an award, they're going to undermine your achievements. That's just the way their toxic mind works. But why do projectors insult, criticize, and attack the people in their lives? The projector has one fundamental flaw. Below that vicious exterior is an insecure and unhappy person. Well, to put it plainly, projectors just don't like themselves. They can't accept themselves for who they are. They're not proud of what they can do or what they've achieved. For many people, this kind of unhappiness motivates change. It encourages them to take action, to improve and to grow. But projectors ignore their self-hatred by channeling their unhappiness into other people. They don't feel proud of or happy for their friends because they just can't experience those emotions for themselves. That's why projectors adopt a negative attitude toward the world around them. They convince themselves that the world is full of unhappy and self-loathing people. It's a negative and discouraging thought, but it makes projectors feel better about themselves. So, what happens when someone in their life seems happy? What happens when a friend or a partner begins to find success? Well, a projector makes it their responsibility to bring you down. They want you to be unhappy and unfulfilled just like they are. But don't let a projector steal away your pride. Don't take their criticisms to heart because they're not trying to help you. They're trying to even the playing field. They may not realize how unhappy and unsatisfied they are, but you can. So get rid of the projectors in your life. You'll be a whole lot happier without their constant negativity. Number 2. The Gaslighter Gaslighting is a form of emotional abuse that's recently come into the spotlight. People have begun to realize just how common gaslighting is, but this common kind of manipulation has been around for some time. So, what is gaslighting? Well, to gaslight someone is to make them question their own judgment or perception. For example, you may believe that your friends and family love you, but a gaslighter may try to convince you otherwise. They may spread false information claiming that your friends and family talk about you behind your back. That false information creates distrust, it damages your relationships with your friends and family, and that gives the gaslighter more control over your life. And hey, that's ultimately what a gaslighter is after. Control. They want you to doubt yourself. They want to make your decisions for you, so they force you to rely on them. When you depend too much on a gaslighter, they begin to take over your life. Avoid this vicious cycle at all costs. Don't let anyone make you question your own sanity. People will try to spread self-doubt. Gaslighters will tell you that you're ruining everything or that everything is your fault. But it's not. There's a reason you feel confused and frustrated by these moments of uncertainty. It's because someone is trying to manipulate you. So, instead of falling for their tricks, just make some space. Take some time to think on your own, because you may have a gaslighter in your life. Number 3. The Backstabber Backstabbers look like trustworthy friends. On the outside, they seem like people you can rely on. They say, you can trust me. But then, when you leave the room, they betray you. They spill your secrets and vulnerabilities. They act like different people, and you realize your friendship means nothing to them. Backstabbers don't value the trust or confidence that other people place in them. They see each of their friends as pawns in a game. They act like your friend until the time is right, and then they throw you under the bus. So how do you know if you have a backstabber in your life? Think about the secrets you trade with your friends. They may know everything about you, but how much do you know about them? Backstabbers know a lot more than they tell. They dive into the vulnerabilities of others without exposing their own weak spots. This dynamic creates a lopsided trust. Yeah, you trust them, but they don't trust you, and it becomes easy for a backstabber to betray you. You have something to lose, but they don't. For trust to mean something, it has to be mutual. Trust is an exchange of weaknesses. You both have something to gain and something to lose. There's another easy way to pick out a backstabber. Just think about which of your friends have betrayed you in the past. 
If this person has broken your trust before, there's a greater chance it'll happen again. Yeah, accidents do happen, and it's important to remember that people do make mistakes. But if your friend intentionally breaks your trust, especially more than once, they're making a choice to hurt you. Backstabbers are often huge gossipers. They'll gossip about everything to everyone, except they never gossip about you, right? Wrong. Gossipers almost always gossip about even their closest friends. And when the gossiper is caught, they'll deny everything. Number 4. The Bad Listener Next, we have one of the most frustrating personalities on this list. Bad listeners have one thing in common. They care far more about their own thoughts than the words coming out of your mouth. In fact, they're so buried in their own thoughts, they can barely register anything you say. Bad listeners show their poor listening skills in a few different ways. They give lackluster one-word answers. They talk constantly about themselves, even if the conversation isn't about them. They interrupt other people whenever they want to because they want to hear themselves talk. Now, all of these bad habits tell you the same thing. This person doesn't care about others. And they probably don't care about you. But that's not fair. You deserve to be heard. You deserve to make friends who listen when you talk. Anyone who isn't willing to give you their attention doesn't deserve yours. Number 5. The Peacock Peacocks care way too much about what other people think. They govern their lives according to other people's opinions. Why? Because they can't tell the difference between attention and self-worth. They broadcast an overconfident, boisterous exterior, although the person underneath is very insecure. That's why they try so hard to be the center of attention. They think being liked is the same thing as liking yourself. Making friends with a peacock can be frustrating. They seem like good people at heart, but they crave status above all else. They think of everything in terms of external value or social charisma. That's why many peacocks become bullies and betray their friends. If you're not cool enough for them, they'll turn on you. Peacocks have narcissistic tendencies that are usually easy to spot. If they're always standing in front of the mirror or care way too much about their social media profiles, this person may be a peacock. The best thing you can do is to make some space. Over time, many peacocks leave their shallow cravings behind. But until that happens, it's best to keep your distance. Number 6. The Saboteur This dangerous personality can and will stand in your way of success. Many accomplished people have grown and competed alongside intellectual rivals. A rival is someone you respect, admire, and compete with. But good rivals want to see each other succeed. That's what makes your rivalry worthwhile. You may fight tooth and nail against each other, but you ultimately push each other to improve. You chase your rival because you admire them, and they chase you for the same reason. On the surface, a saboteur acts like a rival. They compare their success to your success. They measure their accomplishments by your standards. But saboteurs don't push you to improve. Instead, they step on your toes, they tie together your shoelaces, and then they hope you fall flat on your face. Why? Because saboteurs refuse to be outdone. Like projectors, they feel insecure when other people outdo them. But unlike projectors, the saboteur is often lazy and unmotivated to succeed on their own. They discourage the success of other people because they don't want to put in the work. All right, let's try an example. Let's say you're thinking of going back to school to get an advanced degree. Your friend wants to go back to school too, but they don't want to write their essays. You begin to pull ahead of them, so your friend tries to bring you down. They convince you to slack off on your work. They try to distract you from writing your essays because your success feels like their failure. Saboteurs will do anything and everything to keep you down. So kick these people out of your life. If you let them stay too long, you might just pay the price. Number 7. The Steamroller this is a personality type you want to avoid completely. Steamrollers run over everyone in their path. They don't care about your needs or preferences. They don't think about inconveniencing you or wasting your time. The simple truth is, they don't value anyone's goals, time, or money nearly as much as their own. Let's say you've been waiting months to go to a concert. You've been talking about it non-stop. You can't wait to go, but on the night of your concert, your steamroller friend demands a small favor. 
You tell them you're busy, but they don't care, they don't respect your space, instead, they expect you to bend to their will because your needs come second to theirs. And here's the worst part. Friends give in to the steamroller's outrageous demands. They don't know how to fight back, or maybe they've just stopped trying. Either way, steamrollers learn that they can charge their way through life. Don't be one of the poor people in their path. Leave these people behind, because no one should take your needs for granted. Hey, thank you for watching Top Think and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.